Five people, including corrections officers, are charged with scheming to smuggle drugs and cell phones into Baltimore's jail. WJZ is live. Rochelle Ritchie explains four of the correctional officers in trouble also became pregnant by the same inmate. Rochelle? Well, that's right, Mary. It's a jailhouse soap opera involving drugs, money, and sex. 25 people now face federal charges after being part of one of the largest gang operated criminal enterprises seen at the Baltimore City Detention Center. These 25 defendants participated in running the activities of the black gorilla family from behind bars here in Baltimore City. 13 correction officers, all female, seven inmates and five alleged co-conspirators are charged with racketeering, money laundering and possession with the intent to distribute. The affidavit says the correction officers help members of the notorious black gorilla family gang smuggle cell phones, marijuana, prescription pills and cigarettes into the jail to sell to other inmates and make thousands of dollars. This situation enabled BGF members to continue to run their criminal enterprise within the jail and on the streets of Baltimore. Correction officers hid the contraband in their shoes. Unlike other facilities in Maryland, Baltimore City does not require employees to remove their shoes when going through screening. We are committed to ensuring that this activity does not happen again. The ringleader of it all, according to the indictment, Tavon White, a four-year inmate charged with attempted murder who made reportedly $16,000 in one month off of this smuggled contraband. Four correction officers who are also facing charges allegedly became pregnant with White's child since he's been in jail. Secretary Gary Maynard taking full responsibility. It becomes embarrassing for me when we expose ourselves and we participate in an investigation that's going to show what's going on in our jails that I'm not proud of. Despite today's takedown, Baltimore City Police call the gang members a spreading cancer that they will continue to find and prosecute. We will be relentless at driving them into the ground. And Secretary Maynard says because of the investigation, policies and security changes are coming. I'm Michelle Ritchie, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, Michelle, thank you. The BGF has been a dominating gang in Maryland detention facility since 2006. Wait a minute, shit. Quit throwing shit. I mean, here. I see it. Look, look, look. I see it. Women, not ladies. I still, I still love the black ladies and shit. I still love the black ladies. But, you know, it's the black shit. It's the black women. Oh, shit. Come on now. Cut this shit out over there. Cut your motherfucking bitch. Look, look, look. Okay? It's the black women. I don't want to say females. I don't want to say females. Just give me a moment. Let me talk for a second. Let me talk for a second. If you still ain't feeling me, you know what I'm saying? Then do what you do. Do what you do. But it's the black women. Those, because if you say female, ladies are females as well. The fuck was that? Blackout. Ladies are females as well. So I didn't want to say black females. Ain't shit. Let me make sure I got this shit all plugged in proper. Damn it. The fuck. Seeing y'all probably fuck with my computer because you knew this shit was coming. You knew this shit was coming. Now. That creature you see right there. Well, hold on. That shit. Going up against the female gender. I need to hydrate. Mmm. Yeah, it's a little hint of honey and water. Mm. Some motherfucking alcohol. <laughs> Some alcohol shot. But this is an older story. This story is actually from like 2013, but the trial apparently started today. Now, that's one of them three bitches that was up in there. Oh, where the fuck did I put the story? I put the story over here somewhere. Let me bring that shit out. Cause y'all might remember the story about uh, Tavon White. Now I can't call, I can't call that nigga my hero or no shit like that. Cause a nigga up in jail, in jail without in the bail. Let me get this off the screen. Talk about some damn travel packages on sale and shit. Y'all will be able to see that article 
You'll be able to see that article in the description box of shit. And if you're on my website, well, it ain't no description box. You're just going to see that shit down below. And actually, well, shit, it's got his picture. Uh, let me change this up. Let's try, try to put that shit over here. Uh, let's see if I can get that shit just right. Oh, you know, shit, let me sh shrink this shit down some more. Hold the fuck on. Hold the fuck on. Let's just shrink it. Let me smooth some shit over. And then, uh, damn it, I'm going to shrink this shit some more. It took a big-ass picture of dude. I mean, damn. Yeah, let's try to... I'll move this shit. I'll blow it up and move it down some and shit. So you can have a look. This is Tavon White. Let's see, you know, it's almost like an artist sketch you So there's his eyes. His eyes are kind of far apart, a little sunken in. Then his nose, a wide nose and shit. Then you got the uh, mustache and shit like that. You got a little beard going on, a green shirt and shit. That's Tavon White. Now, I don't go around judging the appearance of men, you know, but, well, he had sex with her. He had sex with her. You might be like, well, shit, looking at this bitch right here. Hell, you know, she looking for a fuck. He ain't got nothing better to do. He might as well do it. He might as well do it. And y'all like, well, what you mean? He ain't got nothing better to do. Uh, I'm still moving shit around. Let me use some, get this shit off of there. Y'all see see that fat bitch. You ain't even got to see the rest of her of her body. Look at that fat ass face and them fat ass arms and shit. <laughs> you know that bitch is fat. That bitch. But now as I try to stay serious, I try to stay serious. You know, let me establish a brand. My brand's going to be the serious brand. That's right. You know, who the fuck was that? Oh, shit. I did Milton Bradley, the baseball player. He said he something about he he is I don't know, not condensed seriousness, but just that he was he was seriousness personified and shit. That's me, seriousness personified. Cause Tavon White, dude that I showed you, fucked a shot out of her. And who the fuck is she? Actually, I don't know. <laughs> Let me go down here and see. Oh, something lender. Uh, move for Tiffany Linder. Now let's move that bitch back over. Tiffany Linder. You might think, oh, well, that's a no big deal. Why the fuck does my screen keep blacking out? What y'all doing? I'm going to ignore that shit. Hopefully it'll come out right. That's Tiffany Linder. L-I-N-D-E-R. And, well, he had nothing better to do because he was in jail. In jail with no, in jail without no bail. Baltimore City Jail. In jail without the bail. I think it was like attempted murder or some shit like that. But he's part of the BGF. So I ain't fucking with dude. Hell no. Nah. Y'all might think I'm crazy, but I ain't that crazy. Shit. <laughs> Fuck that shit. BGF. Coast to coast nationwide and shit. Fuck that. I ain't got shit to say about them. Do your thing, bro. Do your thing. And his thing was putting his thing up in that fat bitch. Fat bitch. Who just happened to be one of the correctional officers at Baltimore City Jail. But she wasn't the only one. And this is what I mean when I say black women ain't shit. Hold the fuck off. Because you a correctional officer. Because I said, if he in Baltimore City Jail, you know there's no, oh, what do they call them shits? Oh, not no damn co-op, co-ed. Ain't no damn co-ed jail up in there. With old male and female prisoners interacting. Biatch. You was a damn correctional officer. Your duty was to make sure that they did what the fuck they were supposed to do. The fuck is this doing? This irritating the shit out of me. But I don't have to keep going. The fuck. Damn it. Yeah, like I said before, fuck it. One of the correctional officers, let me just speed this shit along. And she got pregnant by Tavon White. 
go ahead, my... No, I can't call you my brother because you in jail, so you did some shit, allegedly, that you weren't supposed to do. But, if I was a convict, shit, I'd be like, do your thing, my brother, do your thing. When a four female guards impregnated by Tavon White, one man, Let's see when you talk about that slave mentality. And they want that strong black buck like myself and Tavon White. We just be fucking the shit. Fuck, shut, shut, bitch. Turn around. Mm, mm, bitch. Fuck, fuck you up. Oh, shit. Let me calm the fuck down. Because I'm here by myself. Shot. We might end up having an accident with my hand tonight. Some shit like that. But she wasn't the only one. I also have her right there. Right, what the fuck is her name? Stevenson. Oh, shit. Let me bring up the other one over here. Shakira. Some shit like that. Stevenson. What the fuck are their names? Shit. I don't get paid for this. Y'all gonna have to just, like, hang on. Hang out. See what the fuck happens when I find it. What the fuck are their names? Let's see, 15 guards, 7 inmates, and 5 gang members. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> and 4 out of 15, more than 25% of the guards was impregnated. But see, at least it was yet to 5 gang members, and they let 7 other non-BGF motherfuckers get in there, get in on the fucking. Well, maybe they didn't get in on the fucking, you know what I'm saying? Because they'd be like, nah, that's my pussy or shit. It's like Tavon, I guess he was like the ringleader and shit because he called somebody was like, this is my jail. This is my jail. So maybe he was the only one getting pussy and the other niggas just sort of hanging out and shit. You know what I mean? You know, could I get some sloppy seconds? Hmm. Shit, yeah, fuck that. Get your ass back over there and carry them drugs into the system. Carry them cell phones into the system. Apparently... Well, shit, you just watch the news article. Let's put that shit in right here before I run over the dog. All right, you saw it, you heard it. That's it. White said, it's my jail. This is my jail. While he's awaiting trial for attempted murder. He said, I make every final call in this jail. And it looks like two of them bitches, two bitches, but it doesn't say which ones. Got tattoos saying Tavon on their bodies. One on the neck, one on the wrist. What the fuck? I mean, because the shit's on your neck. What the fuck? I, I, I mean, you know, your shirt kind of comes up, butt, and there's some shit, and you're like, hold on, what the fuck? That says Tavon. Oh, no, no, Tavon, my cousin. He my cousin and shit. It's my cousin. Another one had that shit on her wrist. You walking around and shit, actually hit your shit on the fucking door. Whoops. But wait, bitch, bitch, this is Tavon, Tavon, and cell block D, cell block D. No, cell block N, nigga. Cell block N. What the fuck does that shit be? Oh, no, no, no. Um, that That's my mom. My mom's name, Tavon. <laughs> shit. The bitch. The bitch. Remember, I probably have to rest. I probably have to rest. You know, unless you want to be sued, Americans with Disability Act, yeah, I, I might have to rest. Ain't no telling. But what I can tell you is this. You had four black women. Because a woman is going to be a female just by definition. And I know I still haven't identified that bitch up in that other fucking corner. Damn it, this better be the shit right here. Okay. Yeah, you know, sh- like the song says, motherfucking. I'll just go the easy way, huh? Katara Stevens. Boy, I bet you did your parents proud, didn't you? You nice looking bitch. Nice looking bitch. And I say nice looking because I'm just looking at her face. Because you wouldn't bought that fucking hair. Only reason you say that shit's yours is because you paid for it. I'm going to blow this shit up and see what the fuck it looks like. Because some other pictures are kind of blurred over there. But it's K-A-T-E-R-A. Stevenson with a V. Because right, look at that. Nice looking face and shit. 
You know, unless her body's just totally fucked up. She could have had her probably damn near any man. Probably could have had her damn near any man she wanted. Unless she opened her mouth. That'll do it damn near every time with the black women. Because I can talk to a lady all fucking night. I can talk to a black lady all fucking night. But a black woman, per se? Because all ladies, all ladies are women. But not all women are ladies. You need to keep that shit in mind. Let's get off her nice looking motherfucking ass. Go to this one. See, and I like this one. I, I like this one right here, just the, the, the look and shit, so to speak. Because Katiera, Katara, Stevenson, whatever the fuck. Uh, she looks so good. Shit, I'd have to keep that bitch on a leash. I'd have to keep that bitch on a leash to make sure she didn't get away. Where are you going? To the store. Oh, well, damn it, I need to go to the store too. Oh, where are you going? To the ladies' room. Well, shit, I got to piss too. We might as well just go piss together. But this one right here, I don't know what the fuck her name is. Shania Brooks. Shania Brooks, why the fuck did you let me down, girl? Again, these pictures were smaller as right? shit. I, you know, like I said, I got a fucking job, got my fucking job. Damn it, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do this. I mean, cause she's not, say, the finest looking girl that you've seen in the last three photos. And I, I couldn't get a picture of the fourth one. Uh, I did try a little bit, but shit. I'm in the middle of cooking me some chicken, some steak, some rice, some gravy. I'm multitasking my ass off. And have a little sip of some uh, specialized liquid. Right there, girl. It's a fucking shame. It's a fucking shame because... You could have been a black lady. You could have been a black lady. You see, that that's the type of shit that a, a nigga could come home to. The type of shit a black man could come home to. You're not buying other people's hair and stapling that shit in your fucking head. Okay. Yes, Katara Stevenson, you know, just kind of like with the facial structure might have... I look a little better than you. You're just, you're just a smidge. But see, let me just bring this shit up even more. Now, I'm, I'm tell you right now, I ain't got no paper bags, and you know, I don't be putting no seed in bowls and cups and shit. I ain't put my seed in a bowl and cup. So even though I be looking at her ass, I ain't gonna do nothing tonight. I promise y'all. You know what's this shit? Scout's honor. Scout's honor. I promise y'all, I ain't gonna do no shit tonight. But it, it depending on her body, because it doesn't look like she's fake. You look at her face, her chin and shit. But see, that would be the kind of woman that I would want to be a lady. That would be the kind of woman that I'd be, you know, I, I would look forward. I look forward to coming home to your ass every night. Yeah, you not so, quote, super fine. That I need to put a leash on your ass and ass and hook that GPS up on your fucking phone and car and everything. I put some GPS in your damn purse. But you look good enough that I come home and see your ass. I'm like, hey babe, what's up? How was your day? Oh wait, did you see? Did you drop that piece of cornflake on the floor? Then when you bend over, just be like, oh, 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 oh shit. I guess that wasn't no core flex, but I feel so much better right now. Shot, shot. But you, instead of just being, quote, a black woman, slash female, slash stupid bitch, it could have been a lady. But instead, you didn't want a man, is what it comes down to. Fuck it. This is going to be damn near 20 minutes long. But you didn't want a man. Which is why you got somebody in prison. Tell you about somebody by the name of Sharice. I didn't even go tag her shit in here. Her ass see this shit and I'll be in jail for having to fuck her up. But a girl named Sharice, similar thing. She didn't want that free range dick. She didn't want that free range dick. 
She wanted that. Uh, oh, shit. Like, the, I don't know what the fuck they call that. Non free range dick. Just like, get them chickens and shit, organic, free range or whatever. You just run it all over. She wanted that hen house dick, if you will. Okay, but oh, I'm a missionary. And so I'm going to go talk to the male prisoners at the jail about how they shouldn't be in jail. Bitch! They knew they shouldn't have been in jail. They knew they shouldn't have been in... Well, actually, they should have been in jail. They knew they shouldn't have done the shit that they did to end the fuck up in jail. But she would have been like Cherie. Cherise. She would have been like Cherise. Because, see, Cherise didn't want none of this. Because, see, I'm outside of fucking jail. Should my dick be over here? Be over here? Be up and under... A, 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 accessories? Access points? A, uh, whatever, anything that begins with fucking A. My dick be all over the place. Because you don't see me 24-7. And that bothered you. But them niggas in jail, well, restricted penis access. RPA. Restricted penis access. Your penis doesn't have access to everything that my penis does because you in jail. So she deal with y'all better. She deal with y'all better. And that's what she did. Oh, Janiah. If you really needed some dick that bad, why didn't you call me, girl? I was on the internet back in 2013. I think that was like July 2013. So, my bad. If only you knew I was out there. Because I came on the scene in August 2013. I fucked up your life by not being there for you. Oh, shit. Let me button this up. I'm sorry because I'm speaking to the ladies right now. Put your drawers back on, ladies. Put your drawers back on. Shot. Send me them personal messages when we talk about it. You fly me out there and shit. Be your personal escort. Escort your ass right to the bedroom. But anyway, shit. Oh, my fucking goodness. I talk so damn long. I need to have my own show. Half hour show. Put that shit on. But... Yeah, and I'm broke. Let's see, what do I have tonight? It's one, one, two, three. Oh shit, I got five dollars. Shit, what's it? That five dollar fill up bowl of KFC? Y'all know, brother, be like that chicken and shit. Fuck you, that's not stereotypical. I be seeing them white folks in KFC too. Shit. But you, you had a, uh, generally if you're a corrections officer, you have a well-paying job. You had a well-paying job and you gave that shit up for some dick. Gave that shit up for some restricted penis access. When you could have had some free-range penis. You fucked over your child if you wouldn't have the child. I don't have a picture of the fourth one. We just make this shit bigger. Tonight, girl, if you get out of jail, you come look me up, girl. Come look me up. I don't know if you're going to get out of jail because you might be in there having to shank people and shit, you know. I said, I saw prisoner cell block H and shit. I, I don't really watch the orange and the new black shit, but you be sh- shanking people and shit. You know, they might give you some extra time. Give you some extra time. You should look me up, Tonight, girl. And if you got over your criminal ways, maybe I'll look you up, shit. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit you ain't going nowhere shit look you up and then you know maybe you can make some license plates and shit and make a you know 100,000 license plates or something I'll come up and I'll come see you buy my plane ticket we can have a good old time try to get some of them conjugal visits up in like choo choo train choo choo get that choo choo train up in you girl but you done fucked up. I'm going to still watch this story. I'm going to see how much time you get, Chennai Brooks. See how much time you get. Because I'll tell you, I still just be looking at this fucking picture and looking at your fucking face. <sighs> you know, you know, James fucking sign and shit. Sign. I mean, but you may not have thought that you were fine enough they get a black man. You may not have thought you were fine enough to get a black man, but you were, and then you fucked it up. And then you fucked up your kids. 
Parental Responsibility Act. Go look the video up. Thoughts of the Ashamed on YouTube. Thoughts of the Ashamed is my channel. Look that shit up on YouTube. Because you and them three other bitches, you gonna fuck up your life and fuck up your career. So now instead of being able to make good money as a prison guard, you're gonna be working at fucking 7 Eleven. Hold the fuck on. Now when you get out of prison, you go to work at 7 Eleven and shit like that. AM PM. 767 an hour or whatever the fuck minimum wage is in the worst state in the world. The worst state in the US. And then your child's dad is a fucking convict. No offense, Tavon White. Shit, you the man. You the man running the choo choo and shit on them four bitches. Yeah, because I had shit BG. Yeah. You see my you see my teardrops, but shit. Uh, they on the floor over there in the living room. But a nigga's going to do what a nigga's going to do. And if a nigga can get in your panties, a nigga can get in your panties. Yes, three of y'all got nice cars and shit. And they said in jewelry. So maybe the fourth one got some jewelry too. But at least three of y'all got nice cars. I could have bought you a nice fucking car too. Nice Hyundai and shit. Maybe we could get a Yugo and put a nice paint job on that shit or something like that. But at least that shit would have been honest. At least the shit would have been honest. So I don't know what the I don't know what the fourth bitch looks like. You had the fat bitch, whatever the fuck her name was. You got the unknown fourth bitch. You got the fat bitch. You got the super nice looking Stevenson bitch. And then you got the Brooks. I bring my I bring my paycheck home to you every month, girl. Every two weeks, girl. Who fucked off her life for a quick buck? And some dick. That's it. I'm out. Cause shit, this is thirty minutes long, and I didn't split it in half. I'm out.